Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Oil Exotics and I've got custom mac masks. Look at these bad boys. Snake Oil Exotics. They're on the ball now. Look at that, ready for the law coming in. Snake Oil Exotics, looking very snazzy. Yeah, well happy with them. Uh, I'll be sending them in the shop. If you want one custom Snake on Exotic mask. Um, got some 40 Phasms as well, but we're going to want the Snake on Exotic as well, cool. <laughs> but yeah, we had a really good day yesterday, found loads of really cool finds. Um, it's just nice to get out and about. See, the fossil gods are still shining down on us because we've got a nice sunny day. So, uh, but I think we're pretty much done with Portsmouth. With uh, Portsmouth? With um, Gloucestershire. So, fingers crossed now we're going to start branching out a bit more. We've done Gloucestershire a bit flat out lately. So uh, we're going to move on now, go to other park places in the UK and uh, start exploring more of the UK. So uh, that'll be some fun videos for us. Um, so we, today we've got the delivery coming at some point. We, we've got to do, we check the animals as we usually do. Um, we go around, uh, I've got to try and we've got to tr really try and get the um, alligator guards to feed. So I'm going to try my best today to get them to feed. Probably won't be able to do it on camera because I'm going to have to do the first test to see if it's going to be live food. So I've tried everything else now. Last thing is getting them on a bit, little bit of live and then feed them live and a bit of both to try and convert them onto the pellets. So it might be a long process. Might be able to show you little clips and stuff of it, but I won't. I don't. Not sure if I'm going to show the feeding yet. If he does feed, that is. But uh, yep. Yeah, so we jump on, get some jobs done. And I'll see you in a sec. So this morning I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is the guards are eating. Bad news is they're only eating on live. So they have had. To, uh, I did give them a try today because they they haven't eaten in like three or four days now. Even more longer than that. So I thought I've got to try and get food in them. So I put the live in there and. Boom, they've had it straight away. So I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of both. So try and convert them onto pellets so I can just feed them on the pellets then. Uh, but yeah, it was cool to watch. So the um, as the as the fish comes along, they, they they almost pretend to be like a log or a stick or something. And they just flow in next to the fish and then they open as they move, they open their mouth and clamp and then pull it around. And then it's, they just eat it whole. But uh, yeah, it was only some little minnow, little little, little baby minnows I had. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, you know, we'll get them onto pellets. And uh, I'm just happy they're feeding, to be honest. I just wish they wouldn't be feeding on live because I don't really want to film it. It's not the nicest thing. Um, if I get loads of requests for it, if you want to see see the guards feeding, let me know and we can sort something out. But at the moment, I'm not quite ready to show it. But. Uh, so we'll have a look and I'll show you with a full belly. There he is. He's got a nice big belly now. He had a reasonable sized little fish to be fair. I'm not sure where his mate is. I think his mate's behind the... Behind the uh, what's it called? Waterfall. So, oh, and I've lost him now as well. Oh, there he is. So yeah, we're going to have a poke around the back of the waterfall in a bit, see if we can find him, to make sure he's not stuck. Yeah, it's looking really nice. i thinking about putting some more plants in there, but I'm not sure. More around the waterfall. Maybe something at that back bit as well to stop them going around the back. So my delivery's arrived, but it was all down at Manjit's and I've had to grab it or drag it all the way up here and plonk it there. That weighs a blooming ton, these bags do, so it's just bags of sand. So that was a right pain in the bum that was dragging this back. But we made it, we got it back now. Frozen, obviously in the fridge, because we don't mess about with frozen. Um, there's some bits and bobs in there we can look through. That's live food and that's just some substrate. And uh, the blue bag's be dinner. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll snap you doing. What's that we doing? Just chilling at the moment, just chilling at the moment. 
yeah, we're going to do his pool soon. It's over there. Really, really want to get it sorted. But yeah, I can't wait to get it all sorted and fixed and back to looking fantastic like it did originally. Fred, I can't show you everything that was in my delivery box because the lady came before I could even open the box. So I had to open the box, sell it to her straight away. So uh, we're going to miss some of the stuff. Firmestat says, uh, oh, I've got, um, we have got a bearded dragon grow kit for growing all your food for the bearded dragon at home. And I had a, a tortoise version, and that's what she's purchased. Uh, I've had some heat mats come in. She's got some nice, some nice heat mats. And um, got some fluffy spiders. Something a bit different. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we'll go around, have a look at some of the animals today. Um, we've got an animal order coming tomorrow, I believe. Uh, so, have a nice, only a little delivery, but uh, should be good. Uh, I want to try and get this area sorted out down here a bit better with the bugs. I like to get the uh, the bugs, 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 and the bugs looking a bit better. Uh, but yeah, I think we're doing all right. We're doing all right for stuff as, at the moment. But uh, I've got to do all the live food still, and I've still got some more of the substrate to dish out. Once I've got all that sorted, we can jump on some animals and uh, do some handling, maybe some maybe some feeding on some of the stuff that didn't feed the weekend. So I thought what we could do today is um, start off with a little bit of handling. So um, I want to handle um, a big female royal. So we'll get her out, see how she's getting on, see if she's settled down a bit more. Um, so I had her out the weekend as well, and she seemed okay. So we'll get her out again, see if she's settled down, and we'll see how she is. Um, we might get some other little ones out. Um, I think then we we'll do some feeding. I might feed the little geckos. We'll see if the um, spiny, 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 what is it now? Spiny crevice lizard, that's the word. Spiny crevice lizards, we'll feed him as well. There she is. Go, oh, darling. Oi, pop, 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 pop. Still a little bit nervous. Come straight into the ball. Oh, she's got a little bit of poo we need to take out as well. We'll do that when we put her back. Oh, there she is. So here she is. So she's gone straight into the ball position. So this is the her way of protecting herself. Um, so if, say if there's, I don't know, for example, there's a dog. The dog trying to get the snake, he's coming and he's biting on the sides, the stuff like that. She can heal from that because she, the main idea is to protect her head. So if she gets bit on the head or something like that, she's most likely gonna die. But a couple of bites on the side and stuff like that, because she's a reptile, they heal so well that something like that would heal and then um, she, she would carry on surviving. So, yeah, her head is proper in the middle, right in the middle. Um, so you can't even see it underneath. There's absolutely no sign of any head at all. So it's literally, ah, we look down in that hole there, we can see head. So that's where she's hiding, right underneath by her thickest bit of body she's got on top of her head to protect her. So, uh, I think it might take a little bit of time to come out if it did. So we'll just hold her for a couple of minutes, see what she does. If she stays in the ball, we'll just put her back and let her chill out because obviously she must be feeling a little bit stressed and doesn't want to be handled. So, I don't think she's doing any, she's not releasing or anything at the moment. So, they're from Africa. They, uh, they, uh, most of the time they, they're known to be in um, termite mounds at the bottom where they can regulate their temperature. They like the grasslands and stuff like that as well. Um, that's why they've got the leopard print. It helps them break them up in the grass as when they're when they're sliding around. Um, you get some in the forest, foresty areas as well, but they're more they'll be on the outskirts from the grasslands to the uh, foresty areas, all in that kind of bit where they find their food. Um, very very nice, very very nice they are. Maybe so you get a big one would be five foot, 
they usually get to about three, four to five, uh, depending on the snake, depending on how much you feed it, and so on and so forth. Um, they can live 15 to 20 years, sometimes they live even longer, uh, especially if they're looked after well and they're not uh, obese. You keep them lean, lean and mean, as you see. Um, you don't want to overfeed your snakes, you don't want them fat, you don't want them lazy and stuff like that because they get, you can get like a fatty liver disease. It's quite common in the reptiles. Um, but yeah, lovely snake, I'm pretty sure she's not going to come out. Um, so I think what we'll do, we've had a little look at her. She's a very stunning snake. I'll get some close-ups of her with the other camera. But I think we'll just leave her, let her settle. And maybe another time when she's a bit more willing to come out, we'll do some more handling with her. But it's a bit of a shame. We've just got a ball of snake at the moment. But we'll put her back, might get something else out. So this here is that uh, rescue leopard gecko we had come in who had the bad feet. So he's uh, doing a lot better now. We've got most of it off his feet. He's got one little toe it still needs to come off on. But uh, we've, we've been slowly working on it because it's one of his worst toes. But he's doing really well now. He's, the gear he came with has lost most of her toes now. On some of her toes, she's only got one or two toes. So, And on, on some of them, she's literally, she's like this. So she's got... Stay still mate. So she's like that now, she's lost all her claws and she's got little stumps left. So they've done really well by her. All, a lot of the toes which had the um, the black bit of bone sticking out, they, she, they've dealt with that now. Calm down mate. Shh. And they've dealt with that now so that's all come off. They've got things, one or two toes that still needs that bit to come off. Calm down mate. Shh. Shh. It's okay. I'm done. So, um, yeah, that's the. Uh, so she's done really well by her. Uh, as soon as she's fully healed up, we get her, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have her come in, bring her down, and um, we'll have a little video on how she's improved and um, and how she compensates with her claws now. So, uh, she's doing really well. Hopefully, you get a nice little view of him. Yeah, we'll. Uh, we do a bit of feeding now, I think. I think he needs feeding, don't you, mate? And then we'll feed some of the others as well. We give the frogs a little feed. See how they're getting on. The other one's down here. I think I've scared him. He's hiding. But, uh... The other one's out and about. Living his best life. Munching on all the bugs. Look at that. Having a nice little feed. And his mates come out and gone straight in the bush. Oh, sorry. Can he stick his little tongue out? No, his little mate's gone straight in the bush. Can run out the water straight in the bush before I could even see him. Just saw a yellow bum going into a bush. So. This one's out doing well though. Oh, sorry. That was... Bad camera work. Look at his toe going. Must be in there excited or something, but it's lovely markings, having a good little munch, running around trying to find them all. The belly on him. He's got a right belly on him. That's what we like. His mate has literally gone in that bush. So.
More books for you, eh, buddy? You know my little saying? Yummy, yummy, yummy. I've got bugs in my tummy. Look at that. Num, 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 nums. I thought we could do the uh, Amazon milk frogs as well. So give me a little spray first. I've had their morning spray. This is just a late afternoon spray. Oh. So let's chuck some bugs in, shall we? Let's see what they do. They might go mad, they might not. I don't know. So we've got a little bit of substrate in there, but that's not the end of the world. I don't think they're going to jump down and go get them, I don't think. Hmm. A couple in the water we can get out. Rather not have them in the water. There they are. Look at that frog. Stunning creature from Am from the Amazon, Amazon milk frog. Um, we probably li would live in the trees. Um, you'd find they'd find a brimiad like this, and they'd live in it. They'd probably breed in it. Um, but yeah, they're lovely little creatures. They spend ninety percent of their time just trying to feed, trying to hide, trying to, uh, and, then, and then the rest of the time we'd be breeding. So I love how his markings carry on into his eye. Really, really nice how the markings carry on. And then his little mate is down here. Oh no, come on camera. There he is. Nice but uh Oh mate, your dinner's underneath you. Lovely little frogs. I mean I've got uh we've got the bird poo tree frog and we've got the I think it's a European tree frog, I'd have to double check. That's the one that was in the pipe the other day, in that I mean cork bark tube that I had to, I had to check that he wasn't in it today, which he wasn't, which was lucky. He missed it, I literally just turned it off and he's jumped over there and grabbed a cricket. I can't believe we missed it. Oh my god, I literally just turned the camera off and he's jumped over there and grabbed a cricket. Buggers. Can't believe we missed that. Oh well, maybe next time. And this little bloke in here, you little troublemaker. I know for a fact he can get out because he was in the Brom this morning. So we don't have to worry as much about him being in there because we know he can get out. Um, but it's not the best because no one can see him. So uh, might block it up with some moss, but if he likes it as a hide, I'll let him keep it as a hide. You know what I mean? He loves just sitting in there chilling, so let him sit in there and chill, I say. Someone's interested in his food today. Thick his tail is. Such a cracking beast. Off he goes to eat his dinner. Look at that. Proper job. The new little dark frog. I've just chucked him in some fruit flies. I think he's going mad for him. Not as chunky as I'd like him to be. So I'll be chucking a little bit extra bugs in there for him. Go on, you can get it. It's only in the water. Yeah, not as big as I'd like him to be. Yeah, 
there. We need to get a load of bugs. Literally, we're just going to ram the place full of bugs and fatten him up. Because someone's a little bit skinny. He came in, came in better condition than the other one was, but I like to have nice big fat frogs. Nice big fat frogs. So hopefully he eats all them now and we haven't got to worry. So I think we should give the uh, axolotls a little bit of a feed. Ooh. We dinner time. The other one's eating great. The black one doesn't seem to want to feed though. Oh well. We'll try him again in a bit, see if he wants another one. No, only the one wanted to feed today. So, the black one hasn't fed the whole time he's been here. The yellow one's eating like a trooper. But, or the gold one. But the, just not having it, the natural coloured brown blacky one. Mm. Fingers crossed he starts feeding soon. I'm a little bit concerned otherwise. Apart from that, everybody's doing great. Everyone's out and about, swimming. Uh, I've got to feed the marines next. Uh, but yeah, we're taking a long nice. Let's see if we can get the new big Oscar to feed. So we've got a nice little locust. We'll see if he fancies a treat. A treat? A locust? Oh, he wants it, he wants it. So we'll, uh, we'll give it to That was lovely. He's a good lad. He'll munch that down now, go back in his little ID tube. So we'll soon get him trained, get him some doing some cool tricks for us. You never know, maybe we'll get him jumping or something. Wow, oh, lovely locust for you, bud. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad you settled in well. Really good, I'm happy with that. It'd be nice if we get the little ones doing stuff as well. We just got them on normal food at the moment. I'll move them on to live foods, little treats and stuff later on when they're a bit more established, a bit bigger. But yeah, that fish oil is doing really well. Happy days. I think what we'll do for our last little bit today, we'll try the uh, spiny crevices and see if he wants feeding. At the moment, he's up there on the light, he is. So, just open her up, put some crickets in. Let's go on. Didn't miss that, did you, mate? Didn't miss that at all. So he's a bit skitty, so he probably doesn't like me being in the tank. So we're going to stay still. Oh, he's eating, that's a good sign. Oh, I missed that one, didn't you, buddy? Got him. Look at that. Whoa. He is so fast. Doing really well. Nice to see him out and about feeding the day. Whoa. He's trying to get the crickets. They're a bit fast for him. Got his little rocky outcropping. I think he's had enough now. We'll leave him to it. Let him finish off the rest of his bugs in peace. Oh wow, we've had a boss of a day today. Gone around, we've had everybody feeding. We, some, of, some of them we've never seen them feed before on camera, so that was really, really good. Um, fish are doing well, so that's a good thing. Uh, managed to get the gars feeding. Shame it's on live fish. But maybe a couple of weeks of training them to eat some uh, pellets and stuff like that. Um, we might be able to get them onto pellets. That'd be the best case scenario. Um, 
yeah, really happy with today. Hope you liked the video yesterday. Uh, we got Meg back tomorrow picking up the slack. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch another video, uh, should be a box there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And I'll see you in the future. Bye.